man. His form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. It was some wild shit. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. Yeah. Again, I can't imagine what that would have been like for Sylvain and what it probably still will be like. I'm gonna have to talk to him. And it seemed like Ash was still in a pretty bad way after hearing about what happened to Leonardo. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Uh, to the power to fucking eat people? Maybe we don't let me have it then. <laughs> I'm not so sure I like that. But even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. I need you to help figure this shit out, Sovis. Because it points more to the goddess stuff being weird and terrifying, and if you're the goddess, then I don't know what to think, and my life is upside down, and I just know I love you, and I don't want bad things to happen to you or anyone that I love. As one um, who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? I can't, I'm gonna say hopefully not, but unless you mean I can just turn into a dragon, because I've done that in these games before, and that's pretty fun. Um, but it's it's the it's the being devoured alive part by it is concerning. Professor, right, I'll become a dragon. It's the the goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. Turning into a fucking Resident Evil villain out of nowhere—that's what bothers me. Um, I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. He almost died. That was pretty See bad. See that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. See, this concerns People me when you say that. In the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. I mean, you're probably not entirely wrong, but also... Have I established that you concern Please me, Rhea? Please ensure Rhea. the um, students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Gotcha. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. That is that is a possibility. As far as I know, I can't prove that that's wrong. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Am I about to get fucked up by this? If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy It's a good thing, too, because I started people. using it before we knew about so the crest thing, no so... Would have been a fucking experience on the on the day of the right if... <laughs> if, if it wasn't. Um, the church will formally return the lance to House Gautier. If you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. You forever concern Please me. Please I, back. I, I, I wish to love you so very dearly. At that time. But like every other word out of your mouth makes me think I can't trust you. <laughs> I, assume the I don't know if you've noticed this, Rhea. You have Did a tendency to constantly ruin? say shit that makes me like, I don't like what you just said. <laughs> Even if it's not always wrong. Even if it's just a matter of perspective. You concern me. <laughs> uh, I did. She got it. I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Miklon? Yes. Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Yeah, it's some Eventually, bullshit. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. I mean, that's not... You can't deny that, I suppose. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste. Yeah. It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. If I remember correctly, you've always kind of not been big on the whole crest thing in the first place, which again, I can respect and sympathize with immensely. I, I kind of think it's bullshit. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. Again, it's that it's that circumstances of birth shit. It's stupid. There are plenty of talented people in this it's world. Where that pride thing I was talking about before kind of comes into. 
Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlan. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. It is, it is not... Even if it does do good in places, it's the... It still does wrong in others. It's is granted only such is the way of life, really. It's a whole lot of fucking gray area in the world. To rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Well, I don't know if we should necessarily throw out the goddess again. I'm still a little worried the goddess is in my head, and she's also fantastic. So that is concerning. Um. The crests still kind of some bullshit. I will 100% agree on that one. Do um, that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Sadie, hey, man. Regard. I question whether you revealed too much to the professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. Uh, I, I know how to make good friends. The ability to wield the sword of the creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. Yeah, she wants to start some shit. And she wants me to help. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Careful, Hubie. Please excuse me. We're buddies. Remember that. I love you. I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. Yeah, hey man. We gotta work together in this all world. All I can rely on is my own ambition. My path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Reach for my hand. I'll soar away. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> I really love the theme song. Um, Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Baby girl, I hope you good. I hope you all right. Professor, Get together in this man. Well, to complete such a difficult task. Reach out for my hand, son. Um. Anyway, hi. How you doing, Scary? You have shown That's great. Exceptional skill in leading your students. Thank you. I am forever grateful for the safe return. I'll be I'll be here all work. week. Get it? It's funny because I work here. I'll be here every week, for now at least. Please let me stay. Just um, as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the Creator. I have used it twice, and it has been. A sword, mostly. Um, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Rip. Archbishop. My boy. What's up? Seteth, what troubles you? What's good, son? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. My baby girl. No. Professor, what the fuck? Have you seen Flane recently? Uh, she was talking about dead fish earlier. It was real sad. Um, I have not, but I need, I need to find her. I have searched every she's corner my friend. I can think of. I could not find her anywhere. I have a really good shit about his system. She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? It's okay, bud. It's good. Calm it's yourself. good. We'll find Set her. It. It's all good, Professor, man. We shall continue our discussion. We'll be best buddies. Time. It's going to be great. She's Flane, man. Flane does as Flane do. F -f Flambe. What? Um, She's great. She's She's going to be good. Part one. White clouds, horsebow moon, rumors of a reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Rumors of a reaper. Now that makes me think, well, obviously it did just reference the, the, the reaping with the, you know, harvesting and whatnot. But also we know the Death Knight exists, and that... <laughs> and, yeah, um...
Bitch, I'm rich. I'm rich, bitch. <gasps> I am very curious to know how Ingrid is going. Let's go for a visit. I'm so very curious. That's the third time this month. So, baby girl, how you doing? Well, that's that. Father never relents. I love your green eyes. Green eyes are very, very nice. Also, again, never used to have a thing for blondes, then Mitra ruined me, so now I'm here, so... Hi. What are you talking about now? Um, oh, Professor. Hello. Baby girl, Did hi. Did you need something? Just wanted to see how you was doing, seeing how my friggin... I was about to... You're like, you're like the only blonde, aren't you? Like, there's Raph, I guess, but he's a, he's a man's, so that that's another thing. But, right? Is she the only blonde? I think so. Far as I can remember, she is the only one. So, you, my resident blonde. And again, unless Raph asks, in which case... I'm gonna call him Resident Muscles. Um... Uh... What were you doing? You being a sneaky sneak? Well, um... That is, I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. Oh, it sounds like you're a damned liar. You um, well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind. Messiness is a sign of a genius. At least that's what we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better, and that we're actually geniuses, but we're actually just stupid and disgusting. <laughs> Getting rid of things you have no uh, need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. I kind of agree with that. I spent a th I've thrown a lot of shit away over the past year. For good reasons. And also just to fucking breathe better. Um, Maybe you could come over and like, you know, be my maid, I guess is that what I'm going for? Nah, man, that's what we got Felicia for. Um, it's I was going to say best wife, uh, fire emblem wife, but then I remembered there's a lot of real goodness happening here. I still stand by it. But it's, she's in for some competition. Goddamn. Um, uh, you were much for the thrifty type, Does that hmm? surprise you? Perhaps it seems ill-befitting someone of noble birth to care about such things. Uh, not at all. Just never know. Despite my family's nobility, We've never been particularly wealthy. Oh, I mean, so my it happens. father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. Well, I mean, that's he a thing. It's not a terrible idea. Or she does say like extravagance so was one of the things she's hand, not a big fan of. Hmm. Well, does seem like a solid I think enough you'd example. I'd be happy to hear you say that. Oh, uh, just this is like, I think it's like the first time I've ever seen Violet smile too. It was just like. Hmm, it's a nice little... Yeah, I like that. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my land. Was it a love letter? So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor... It should be. Look at you. Did you come um, me for any particular reason? Just want to talk. Oh, well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. Totes. Catch you in the future, Ingrid. Let's be buddies, yeah. Oh. Oh. Shit damn. We in for round two. Oh, it's you. Hey, baby girl. Again, I, see. I love your you eyes here? so much. Uh, here to see your face. Feeling all right? Trouble sleeping? Is it that obvious? I mean, well, you set up a hell of a fucking situation for yourself earlier, so I'd... Yeah. I despise being cooped up when sleep evades me. I just have to get some fresh air. It's the worst. I, I still don't go outside and shit, but like... I get it. I totally get it, 100%. Yeah, me neither, man. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. Hey, you telling your teacher that, ma'am? I'm supposed to be the one I hear with these wise lessons. I should get some sleep, too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun. For a sweet breeze on my face. I'm more of a... More of a, like, cool overcast sort of person. I'm not big on the sun being just, like, a blinding, terrifying death ball in the sky. It's, I kind of hate it, uh, but like, I, I'm one of those people who really actually likes kind of like a cloudy, moodier, 
vibe. It just brightens me up for some reason. I don't know fucking why. I'm a goddamn weirdo is why. Um, but I do 100% get that. On that kind of a day, absolutely. Like, again, I'm not a big outside guy. I don't go anywhere. I'm a fucking shut-in. Much less than I was because now I have a job and I actually have to go do human things. Um, but... But that is something I do appreciate a lot. So do I get that. Do you remember what I told you the other night about? I do. My Two past. weeks was not enough to make me forget it. None of it was my siblings thing. had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved—an ordinary life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I say I forgot you asked me to forget? Uh, yeah, I do. My siblings and I were—we were imprisoned underground. Beneath the palace. What the fuck, man? The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. This sounds like some shit. No wonder you hate these fucking things. I have always possessed the crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlan, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. I hate people. Now here I stand. I realize it's fictional people. That endeavor. But people are humans in fiction and in real life, and they all suck. Um, not all, but God can they? But that came at too high a price. The others were sacrificed. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it. The truth of the Hressfelg's empire. I just want to hug her and never let go. It's fucking bullshit. It is. But when you see my true strength, you will know that I speak the truth. I've seen Zemi's strength. Jesus Christ. I've kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. You got fucking second black magic bullshit? What the fuck? It is the same as yours. Oh, the shit. The of flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. There's a part of me that wants to try to discuss my theory crafting stuff a bit because there I I have ideas on things and more and more as I go along I find more reasons to be like shit you might be right um, I don't know though I, I, I don't know there just there's there's things I feel like I can infer from stuff and because time travel is a thing, a lot of it feels more possible than I'd like it to be. Um, so I don't know. Or if I should just kind of leave it and shut up for now. But, I don't know. I, I, I have ideas, and I don't like any of them, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, all of them bother me. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, that right there is one of those things that, like, oh, well, that's a thing, isn't it? Shit. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifice is never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into it. Um. Okay. So we know that the dude with the mask who runs the Death Knight thing is the Flame Emperor, right? We, we know that, right? Okay, cool. That's the Flame Emperor. Like, we know because it's, it's, it's under the Death Knight's fucking category as he's part of the Flame Emperor's army. Also, I'm pretty sure they revealed that that was who that was. That was his name before the game came out, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the Flame Emperor, whatever. Edelgard is training to be the Emperor. She has the Crest of Flames. Um, now, the, the Death Knight thing, 
this doesn't have as much of a, a, a solid ground on it. Um, but Hubert, I don't know, just kind of reminds me of that because he's a fucking freak. Um, but he's very dedicated and loyal. Time travel is a thing that exists. The Flame Emperor knows, it, like, seems to have at least a passing familiarity with the church. Like, when, like in the first time a little while back, uh, or like, yeah, a little while back when we saw him, I, th I don't know if, or, or I can't remember if it was when I got the, the sword, but don't, d didn't he or whatever mention, um, like, w what is Rhea thinking or whatever? What is, yeah, something like that. Um, that's a thing. Other thing is the Flame Emperor shit is all red, so well, there's that. Um, but. Um, I looked up, remember, the English VAs for all everyone. <laughs> this is the one thing that's really annoying, uh, kind of, because it's technically something I, 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 pro I definitely wouldn't have known outside of the show if I hadn't looked it up and seen it by accident. Uh, and I had meant to cut it off as soon as I started getting to most anyone uh, that wasn't just part of the group. The only VA whose character, or character whose VA I saw that wasn't a part of the group, that wasn't a part of uh, all the students or the faculty, was the Flame Emperor. The Flame Emperor's VA is Terra Platt. <laughs> is, is at least as listed as Terra Platt, which is weird, but, because it doesn't sound like her, but it could if you tried hard enough. Then there's the theme song. <laughs> Which, if it was from the perspective of someone like Byleth or something like that, it's, it's fine. It could be a thing. But if it was from the perspective of Edelgard, there is a lot of lyrics in that song that are concerningly appropriate <laughs> there's multiple re there's there's at least a there, there's one big reference to flames this mask that I wear or whatever the line is like there's there is a whole lot that makes me think like you get where I'm going with it right now the thing is again I don't know if it's true and please God don't uh, confirm anything for me. I'm just saying, the more and more and more as I go along, everything that I see about it makes me go like, is this some weird alternate reality, future past, Edelgard is the fucking villain bullshit? <laughs> or, again, that's the thing, is the villain in quotation marks, because I still don't think I can trust the fucking church as far as I can throw it, to be honest with you. Again, I want to. The, a lot of the people in it are fantastic. Rhea fucking scares me, though. Um, like, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things where, like, like, there was bits and pieces of it earlier on that I, that I had kind of thought about. But more and more as I go on, and thankfully, most everything else, um, I haven't, like, again, that's the only big thing from the outside world that I've been spoiled on is me looking up that VA and finding out that it was, you goddamn it, uh, finding out that it was Terra Platt. So, yeah, now again, do I know that anything is the case? Do I want it fucking confirmed? Absolutely not. That being said, that is where my head is at, so I figured that would be the good thing to explain. Just like, hey, if that happened, I would not be surprised. I just don't know how we would get from there to there. And that's the thing is, the more and more she sets it up, is it, is it, it, it does come off as the Flame Emperor or whatever has a fucking problem with the church. And Edelgard has a severe fucking problem with the crests and the goddess, as has been stated very heavily in this last little bit. She is not a fucking fan for, again, fairly obvious reasons. And I can't blame her for it at all. The, the only thing that makes me think that it isn't so much a thing is I feel like that puts Edelgard at such a big fucking relevant position 
way more than the likes of Dimitri and Claude. That being said, just because I don't know that there's not more to those two doesn't mean shit. Um, and that being said, is the, the Blue Lions have been the main kind... The, the Kingdom of Fargus has been the most relevant to the, to the villainous f folks. Again, villain in quotation marks. Um, the antagonistic folks, let's say, um, that we've had to deal with have all been from Fargus. So I don't know. It's just, it's, I, I, again, I, the biggest thing is I, I wanted to let you guys know where my head is. And it's, it's one of those things where, like, I just, yeah. And again, most all of that is stuff I could just get from just listening from the, listening to the theme song, which is already just available. It's just a thing. Just listening to the theme song. Knowing that the dude is the flame amber. Again, dude in quotation marks, because, again, if it's Edelgard, probably not a dude. Um, that, that person's name is the flame amber. The, the fucking fact that she has the crest of flames out of nowhere is like, oh, that's... Well, that helps build on that, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so that is where my head's at. I, I wanted to make sure you guys knew that, because that's a, that's, that's a thing. It's a pretty big fucking thing, if any of that is right. If it's wrong, well, then I look like a doof. <laughs> I look like a right silly man. Um, but if it's right, that's a fucking thing, and I don't know how to feel about any of it. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. But it's, it's concerning, and I don't like it, and it makes me sad. Um, anyway, that's where I am. I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, yeah. Again, most all of that can just be picked up from what I've gotten in the game. But, again, obviously, the VA thing in particular is like... I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't specifically looked it up and then caught that before I could dip out. Anyway, so, yeah. Figured it was a thing to talk about. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on and be sad some more because Edelgard is talking about sad things. Um, never mind, we're going to end this immediately. C+. Oh my goodness.